Hi guys, welcome back to Chatty Natalie. Today we're going to be doing another food video. We're going to be making red curry, tofu and peas. It's a vegetarian dish that goes amazing with the garlic naan that I made in my previous video. So if you guys are interested, please stay tuned. Thank you. So guys, this is how the tofu comes. It comes in a pack with some water in it. What we're going to do is drain this water out and then I'm going to give it a light rinse in this bowl of water and then I'm going to put it on a plate to drain between paper towels. Let me show you guys. So I'm just going to give the tofu a little rinse. I like to rinse off that liquid that it's has been soaking in. Just take it out, give it a little rinse, put it. I'm going to rest the paper towels on top of the tofu and I'm just going to use another plate to add some weight. I'm going to leave this here for about 10 minutes to drain out that excess water from the tofu. So guys, it's been about 10 minutes since the tofu has been draining. I don't know if you can see the amount of water that has gotten absorbed in the napkins on both sides. What we're going to do now is we're going to cut this tofu into cubes. Now this is firm tofu. If you're able to get extra firm tofu, that will be the better tofu to buy for this because the firm is still a bit delicate for my liking. I'm just going to cut it average maybe about an inch cubes. Still have to be pretty careful with it because it's still a bit fragile. So with this now, I'm going to get some one inch cubes. So I'm going to do the same with the other block. And then we are going to fry these in a pan with some oil until they are golden brown. So I'll see you guys back with the next step. So guys, I've added a tin layer of regular vegetable oil to this pan and I place the cube tofu in the pan and I'm going to fry it until it's golden brown. Be careful because you would get some splatter. Remember this has liquid in it. Okay, give it a turn. You don't have to brown every side. I just brown two, maybe three of the sides and then you place it in a paper towel to drain. You can leave it to get the color that you like. I'm looking for a light golden color. If you want it a bit more darker, you could have to alter your preference. So I'll see you guys back shortly when I've finished frying this tofu. So guys, this is our finished tofu. After it has fried, this is two pounds of tofu. This is a lot of tofu. But I am making, as you can see from my ingredients, I'm making a pretty large batch of this curry if you guys want to make less of it you can cut all the ingredients that i've listed down below in half so guys we are now going to make some red indian curry with tofu and green peas this is a vegetarian dish an east indian vegetarian dish just to go back over the ingredients that we're going to be using, we're going to be using two tablespoons of oil, four large cloves of garlic chopped and four inches of ginger peeled and chopped. I'm going to be using six ounces of chopped onions and a piece of hot pepper for taste. And I'm also going to be using two tins of chopped tomatoes 
14.5 ounce tins and salt to taste now if you have fresh tomatoes that you want to chop and use by all means please go ahead so we're going to add the oil to the pot and then to this we're going to add Now we're going to add the ginger and garlic pieces and allow everything to soak them together. So guys, now that our onions have soaked a bit and they're starting to take on that lovely cooked golden color, We're now going to add the tomatoes. And to season, I'm adding half a teaspoon of salt. I'm going to allow this to simmer here for maybe about two to three minutes and then we're going to take all of these tomatoes and onions and everything that we have in this pan and we're going to add it to the blender where we are going to make a beautiful fine puree so I'll see you guys back shortly with the next step so guys let's blend our tomato and onion mixture to make that beautiful red sauce for our red curry you can use a stick blender if you have one but i find using this type of blender you get a finer puree i'm adding one cup of water to the blender and then i'm going to add the contents of the pot to the blender everything has been added to the blender we're going to cover and remember guys be careful this is some hot liquid in here so guys let's blend let's check the consistency fine puree I'm gonna run it a little longer for half a minute or so and that should be perfect and then I'll come back and take you guys to the next step so guys after all these different steps that I've been showing you all we are now going to put together all the ingredients that we prepared to make our red Indian curry with tofu and green peas So I am using my Crock-Pot Express Instant Pressure Cooker. You can use any instant pressure cooker that you have and if, because I like the faster way of cooking, that's why I use my instant pressure cooker. If you guys don't have an, in, in, an instant pressure cooker, by all means, please put your pot up on the stove to heat. The only difference is going to be the cooking time on the stove will be a little bit longer than if you're using an instant pressure cooker. So I have my instant pressure cooker heating. If you're using a pot, please put your pot to heat. Add a tablespoon of vegetable oil. and a tablespoon of butter I like the flavor that the butter gives while 
while that's heating up I just want to show you guys some spices that I'm going to be adding to this this is my little spice bowl that I prepared now I will be listing all of the ingredients that I used below so you guys will get everything written down with measurements and everything in here I have two teaspoons of paprika two teaspoons of turmeric powder two teaspoons of tandoori masala you can use garam masala you could use tikka masala you can use anything that you could find it's all for your taste then I've also added three cardamom pods this is what it looks like cardamom pod yeah. I have added four pieces of clove, a star anise, and a piece of spice. This is spice. This is the star anise. As I said, guys, everything will be listed below. So now that our butter and our oil has heated up. As you see everything is melted and bubbling lovely in here everything is heated we are now going to add two teaspoons of whole jira one teaspoon two teaspoons i'm turning to the outside because that's where the oil and the butter has settled So let's leave this to fry a little to extract those flavors from those pods of jira. And as soon as they've, they've turned a beautiful dark brown, we would go ahead and add our spices. You guys can't imagine the scent that I'm getting here right now. Love it, that lovely spicy scent. So guys, our jira has now turned a lovely brown color, a little darker than where it was. It smells amazing. I'm now going to add all of the spices that I showed you guys before to this mixture and give it a really quick toss. for that spice is to fry for a couple of seconds I don't want it to get too brown so as you can see everything is nicely combined in there mm, wish you guys could get this scent right now so we're now going to add our tomato puree mixture that we made earlier I'm going to add a half cup of water to the blender and just give it a little spool to get all of those little bits and pieces at the end of the blender out when we don't waste anything guys we use everything that we can when we're cooking. To this now, I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt. We could adjust our salt after everything has finished cooking. So let's heat this up for a minute or two. 
let's add our tofu, fried tofu pieces. And we're going to add a pound of frozen green peas. Let's give everything a toss together. Now, if you're making this on the stove top, you're going to leave this to boil. Sorry, to cook on a medium heat for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes. As I'm making this in the instant in my Crock-Pot Express instant pressure cooker, I'm going to pressure this, seal and pressure this for two minutes. And then I'm going to do a slow release for 10 minutes. I'll see you guys back when with the finished product. So guys, this is our finished product. You see how nicely the tofu, the tofu has bloomed really nicely. Our peas is cooked. This is the consistency that I like. But if you guys want a little more tin, by all means, add a little more water. If you feel you want it a little thicker, just simmer for a couple minutes. Now I'm just going to finish this up by adding a few tablespoons of my homemade yogurt. It's two tablespoons I've added there. Four tablespoons. I'm just going to add about a quarter cup of full cream milk. It's just going to lighten up that beautiful tomato sauce. And give it that nice milky flavor. So that's our finished product guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe. Thank you so much for watching. This will go with my garlic naan recipe that I've made previously. I'm going to leave a link down below for you guys to find that recipe. You could also do some lovely basmati or jasmine rice to go with this. So guys, please subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so that every time I upload new videos, you guys would know. Thank you so much for watching and being with me. I appreciate your love and your support. And I will see you guys soon. Thanks again, guys. Bye for now.